the night he passed away, I supposed to um, I supposed to been at that place. Mm. Swear to God on my kids, like God could strike me down right now. I supposed to been there. That was he, a club here. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. He hit me. He hit me early. He was he had did a show. I think he was in Dallas or something. that day, earlier that day, or the day before. And he hit me. He like, gang, what you on? I'm like at the crib. My, I was at my sister's spot. She was cooking and she made some spaghetti and, shit, and I ended up catching the itis type shit. And I was coming dolo. I used them mood solo. He kept saying, pop out, gang, pop out with me, pop out with my show, my show, my show. I'm like, I'm going to pop out. But I don't move solo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I move with my homie or an extra set of eyes at all times. You know what I'm saying? So, and then especially when you're in those type of crowds. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand politics is everything, people is everything, relationships is everything. So, I'm like, man, I'm going I'm to pop out, gang, pop out. End up catching the itis, called the little chick over to the crib. K.O. woke up. Sister wake me up. Get up, get up, get up. Literally, when I say, like, I had a missed call from gang, I woke up from his missed call, and then I went to the internet and seen it going viral. I was tripping. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Ain't nobody doing that, bro. Ain't nobody doing that. Man. I don't think, I don't, ain't how nobody do, doing yeah, that, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show some type of love. Ain't nobody doing that. Am I uh, lying? Gang. You done did some interviews with a lot of people. Ain't and nobody do don't that. don't even play with me like that because they know my, they know my background. But y'all talk about everything. Mm, not for real. Because then I end up leaving out. Or I tell a nigga like, hey, you play with me like, I'm not playing. Uh. But it's my actual question. Is that playing with you? Yeah, nigga, because you know the, you know the vibes. I don't. You, that's the part of doing research. <laughs> but that's not knowing you know the vibes. Like, that's not knowing the vibes. That's not right. like that's not knowing the vibes. I that's why you it. ask somebody. Like I feel like men. You gotta was, think, bro. Four years. This has been four years, five years. Yeah, something like five. Of fake ass allegations. Like I'm so tired, bro. I don't, you know how much shit I done did for the world, for the world, for just me. Like what you world. do for the world? Talk to me. Gang, everything, gang. I'm one of the influencers. I'm one of the trendsetters. Like. Mm. Fashion wise, entrepreneurship wise, like leader, motivation wise, everything. Get to the bag. I got a million one DMs. Motherfuckers tell me how much I motivate them. Like mm. every day, like entrepreneur. I own a fragrance. <laughs> nah, I saw that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't bring me nothing. I mean, I will. Ain't no pressure. I saw. I saw, I saw, I saw that shit. I, I saw that shit you was talking about. Yeah, own a fragrance. I build big ass developments. I'm building a six condominium mix. Most to use, mm. like condo in Chicago next to the Barack Obama Library. Hold up, before we let's 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 do the real service, man. What's poppin'? You know what time it is, your boy, Mr. J Hill here, J Hill Podcast. Oh man, a special guest in the building, Rari True, Ferrari True. Am I saying it right? Rari True. Rari True is in the building, sure. man. Um, this uh, shout out to my guy Hollywood, man. He had, he was like, yo, we was we was rapping, we chopping up. He's like, man, this dude got it, bro. You gotta shout out my you brother, gotta man. you know lock in with him. So you know what I do? I listen. I think I'm a pretty good listener. I listen. I listen. He said, "All right, he's hot." So I said, "The door is open." For sure. So we just talking about, um, you know, things that was in the past, shit that was going on, and I'm um, just catching y'all up with the conversation. My man got a fragrance. He been doing this thing for a minute from Chicago. Uh, you know, you do the research, you'll see the rest. But you were saying you was building a a building. Yeah, I'm into real estate heavy now. Mm-hmm. I used to be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Ripping and running and shit. So I um, fell in love with real estate on top of my music, trying to be an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Finding ways to legalize and liquidize this bread, for real. How Was that hard coming coming up? That's, take me back again, bro. I said this before. When we having the conversations, it's me getting to know you. Right, right. So, you like, I don't want you to... Um, Take offense. Yeah, yeah. No pressure. But if you do, you could say, we men. Stars. We men. So you could be like, yo, nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm Shoot good for with the that. Stars. I'm just, just like, you know, I'm straight Shoot with all that. Stars, gang. So let's take me back five years ago. Because you've been, from my research, you've been getting to it. Yeah. yeah what yeah, changed yeah. from the way you was getting to it, I guess. But you, because you've been talking business shit, though. Like, not even though, 
like outside the streets, you've been talking like business, credit, shit like that. So what changed from five years ago if you can walk me and my audience? I feel like I shit, I start actually really doing it. Like I was doing it back then, but on a minuscule scale. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like now I'm doing it to where I'm really making real play life changing plays. You know what I'm saying? Um back then a nigga was outside in the streets, like busting plays. Like y'all know the little mm. bullshit niggas was doing, like you know, the little petty shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like you know. Is statues of limitation we could talk about it or yeah no. yeah no, yeah type shit you know niggas was outside niggas it's was... ways so many ways to be outside that's what I'm asking though I gotta yeah. ask these questions <clears throat> I don't know nigga like you gotta tell me was it was it outside and like you know just void the question type shit okay if you could put one and one together. I can't. I ain't yeah, lie. man. You got to. I, I, I never. I would never been a street nigga. I never. I'm from the hood, but I always tell niggas all the Let's time. Let's just say we just got money, man. I just knew how to get money from institutions. Okay, that's it. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On some like, I'm assuming some scamming shit or. I don't know what you talking about, gang. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, man. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, crazy. I, it's it's crazy. The it's crazy how like for each person is different uh, reactions. Cause I done had one person come up here and just gave me all the game. Well, I had a couple people. That nigga was trying to um trying to get some clout. Everybody don't do it for clout. You tell okay. a motherfucker, you hey, you get on this, this microphone and start talking about what you done did in the past. Them allegations, gang. That shit. Some of that should be just your story. Your story though. Yeah, fuck a story. You gonna the rest of your story gonna be in jail. <laughs> shit. But that's why I said statutes of limitations. Sometimes you, I mean, it's certain statutes of limitations to certain shit, right? I'm cool. No. I don't even no want to need. risk it. No need. <laughs> okay, There's too so many outside. snitches around this bitch right now. Okay. I don't know who the fuck to trust. So you outside, you get into it. Right. But, uh, so at that time, was it... Were, were you saying what you were doing in hopes that you was going to get there one day, but still halfway in, halfway out? I or? was halfway out. No, nah, so I was in it. I was in it heavy, but shit, at the same time, uh, I mean, I was talking towards my future anyways. Mm. I'm a visualizer, you know what I'm saying? I'm a yeah. Virgo, like a nigga know where I'm going. You mm. know what I'm saying? I can predetermine my moves by my position and who mm -hmm. I got around me, my team. So same token, I mean, shit. I was talking shit about what I was doing at that time and where I was going. Mm. So if you go back to some of my projects, some of the shit I was listening to, like when I first started rapping, like I only been rapping four and a half years, if that, you know what I'm saying? And then I feel like this year, which was 2022 that just passed, I locked myself in the studio and really became a real rapper. Mm. Like where I had to understand, stay in the pocket, the cadence, features. Like, I started doing real shit, networking for real. Because at first I was just like, man, I'm getting hella money. If I don't do something with this shit or I don't promote this shit or something, something going to happen, you know what I'm mm. saying? So I might as well try to liquidize, legalize all this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm finna just start rapping and that's how it happened. I asked you when we um came in, and again, you could talk as much as not. When you came in, I asked you that question because I wanted to talk more so towards the growth. Right, yeah, yeah. Cause again, me doing my research, looking at some videos, that I wanted to just ask, like, where were you mentally then compared to now, and like, how much did certain situations help towards Dang, you? Career, I was though? fucked up. I was mm. fucked up. I was making a lot of bread, and I didn't, I didn't had no money management. I had no nobody to tell me what to do with my money. And then on top of that, when I went viral for some crazy shit, we all know, you know what I'm saying? We don't. All right, shit. we can say it, man. We Fucking can... hoes type shit. I went viral for that, that shit type shit, and then. I feel like a lot of my money depleted. Mm. I feel like my accounts got seized. Honestly, you honestly ask me, shit. I thought that would help the situation. Man, fuck no. I mean, in ways it did, in ways it didn't. Because at the same time, like, you got good allegations, you got bad allegations, and you just got to learn how to roll with it. But it's like, if people don't really know the true you, and again, this is my time on the internet. It was one of my peakest p p times on the internet. Like, yeah. I come from real life. So at the end of the day, like, when my, I got people around me who telling me what to do. I was like a puppet in a sense. Like, I didn't know. Like, they're like, oh, be the nice guy. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, do this and do that or don't throw that out there or post that or do this. I was getting kind of like coached through that shit because I'm like, what the fuck do I supposed to do? I just went from 60,000, 40,000 followers to 300-some thousand followers or 200-some thousand followers in less than three fucking days. What the fuck? Like, I ain't know what to do. I, I was always just good at getting fly, getting money. Fucking hoes and posting on Instagram. I ain't know what the fuck to do with that shit. I like that you say that. If I can be honest, I um I looked at the radio interview you did. I think I was in Chicago. Yeah. And you was talking about the situation. And I'm not gonna lie, I was like, yo, like, I don't expect this from a nigga, right? Yeah, yeah. But the fact that you saying like, I can believe that. Yeah, and yeah, I can yeah. believe That's that. Like really you was like on. niggas like, yo, do this, do that, cause it can help him. But I'm sorry, bro. We can't. We we gotta. 
give the people what we talking about, bro. That's cool. It's just, it's just, it's just so. Um, it was a situation that was going on, and uh, it was a chick that basically. Which one? The Black China chick. Does it? I thought that was it. Oh. Oh, this nigga is lit. <laughs> he that guy. <laughs> Go ahead, talk to shit. <laughs> What you got going on? He man? that guy. My bad, my bad. But this is the one I'm talking about. I seen the radio interview and I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just looking at like, I don't know. But the fact that you say like y'all was being coached, I I can appreciate that because like I tell people all How the time. How many interviews you seen to me? One, two, like four. How many interviews did I act like that? It was only that one. Okay then. That was your answer. I'm commending that though. That's a fact. I, I think I think that's commendable, but that's why I say I be trying to go through everything with people because that means a lot, though. As you much know. as we don't want to talk about these things, that shows a lot of growth and and and, and it can show who you are as a person. For sure. For you sure. get what I'm saying? Like, for so sure. it ain't really about the person itself. It's about you, though. And I feel like people can learn about who you are now compared to <laughs> the shit you've been through. If that makes sense. That's no, for sure. That's a fact. That's not, a fact. not not no clout chasing, but that's just some real shit. Bro, I don't give a fuck about what nobody think or. Who want to be close to me or friends to me? I didn't got back door all type of. I didn't did. I don't give a fuck, gang. It's, mm. Hey, listen, caskets is not made in bump beds, bro. Facts. But <laughs> believe that, like they not made with bump beds. You're gonna go by your fucking self. So all that trying to do it for that, that ain't do what you need to do. Protect your family, build generational wealth, and keep pushing. Is that something you look back on and be like, man, I wish I never did that shit? It ain't really. I wish I never did. I, I didn't have no control at the same time. Like you know what I'm saying? I was just doing what I usually do. Get money, fuck bitches, get fly. That's it. Mm. Nothing else. I, that's what I wanted to do. I was always wanted to be successful. Like, my goal was to be successful and to build a brand. You know what I'm saying? But I was organically having 40, 50,000 followers back then. Mm. So when motherfuckers DMing me, like, I don't, like, I wasn't DMing the girls that you name, you know what I'm saying? Girls you name. I wasn't DMing them. They DM me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, um. When shit. I actually did you regret it, not really that hurt. I'm saying, like, the interviews and how you was talking about it, I guess. Oh, all the time. Because at the same time, it's like, that was the most peak of people watching me at the time. Mm. I was on Wendy Williams, all motherfucking Joe Budden, them show. I was on every fucking yeah. shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, at first it was cool because, you know, again, bad publicity, good publicity, you grow as a person and you gain, like, attention. But I see why rich motherfuckers don't want attention. Mm. I see why wealthy people don't want attention. Like, Sometimes, if it's five, six motherfuckers in one room and you're the only one shining, four might respect it, one gonna hate. Mm. That's gonna be the one under your picture. They make Fenster for a reason nowadays, but Fenster been there. I had Fenster since fucking 2019, but I see now, like, Fenster's a known common thing for the, for the regular world, you know what I'm saying? But it was been motherfuckers creating fake pages and them. them be the motherfuckers right next to you, you know what I'm saying? All the time, like, the person who could backdoor you the worst be the motherfucker right next to you because he yeah. know your plan and know your plot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He know where your heart land. He know what you or what you will not do. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, yeah, hell yeah, I regret that shit all the time. But at the end of the day, I'm grown now. I respect what the path was. And, like, if my fans don't fuck with it or if my fans fuck with the me now, which was still the me then, but the way it was portrayed because I was coached by uneducated people or people who was internet as fuck mm -hmm. and was using me as a puppet to gain publicity to get a bigger deal, I'm like, damn, I can, I respect the game. I respect the hustle because this industry shit is just a hustle. It's a game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's some real shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Do you, um, since then, have you gotten any, like, deals or situations? For sure. And For do, you sure. See, do you see in those deals or situations that, that came about, do you see them try to manipulate they situations are, the same in similar ways that you're not at, rocking with? Look at the industry like the dope game. Look at the industry like the real estate game. Look at the industry like the entrepreneur game. You find a product, you want what? You don't want to pay the high for it. You're going to pay the low for it. And what you're going to do, you're going to charge a motherfucker the high. I'm going to find an artist. I'm going to try to give him bare minimum. I'm going to put him under a contract where I'm going to gain residuals for the rest of my fucking life. It's, they, it's puppet. It's the puppet world. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no pressure behind it, but at the same time, like I got plenty of deals on the table. You know what I do? I look at it at the top. I see the name of it. I get excited at first, and then I shoot it over to my attorney. Mm. And then he, my attorney... My entertainment attorney, he the one who tell me, like, that's one of those, or that's one of these, or you can do something with that, or what you feel. But sometimes I make decisions off, a lot of us do, we make decisions off our financial positions. Mm. If my pocket's fat at the moment, and there's something that's, you know, if I just caught a big-ass play or a bag somewhere, I did some finessing or whatever the fuck a nigga that did, 
you know, and I'm sitting on some shit, I'm like, nah, fuck that shit. If I'm fucked up, I'll be like, man, maybe, you know, I'll take a call. And then if I keep constantly working towards it and I see like, oh, man, you know, nah, that sound like one of those. I just did it. They don't hear back from me. But then a lot of people say like, man, you be missing out. Yeah, be like, man, bro, look, it ain't even about that. This rapping to me, like, I love rap now. I feel in love with the, the, the industry because of the chemistry and the therapy I do, I use for it. Mm. I don't even, like, bro, I rap nowadays for therapy. It's my mechanism. Like, it ain't even, for, like, I don't give a fuck if I make a hit, never. Like, it ain't even for that for me. Because I'm a businessman at heart. Like, I make, I got seven different streams of income. You see what I'm saying? So, like, cologne, real estate, trucking, fashion, all type of shit going on. So, rapping is just like, I use rapping now as an engine to draw fans to Everything politic with them to do business. That's some real shit. Yo, I'm going to get back to this. Pause, though. Trucking industry. Hmm? How hard or easy was that to get in? Shit. My father and my family come from trucking. Oh, so they... So they, 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 they got truck shit going on already. I ain't going to lie to you, gang. I don't know shit about trucks. Mm-hmm. I just put the bag up. How much I, you had to put up? Um, It depends. I, I invest into Tesla. You know what I'm saying? I bought a Tesla semi. Okay. Um, and then I ended up buying like two freight line of trucks. How much was the uh Tesla semi? Um, I put down twenty five thousand on reserve, but it was already like I think like hundred and sixty racks. Okay. So you put down twenty five. Yeah. It, It'll be here um end of this year. Wait, what did you you have any trucks now? Or? Yeah, I got two Peter Bills in the freight line. What's the one that you already got? How much you had to put put down for that? Thirty thousand for one. Eighteen thousand for an old used one that my pops were always here at fixing. Okay. And um. The other one, I think, was like it was all under fifty the 18, racks. The eighteen thousand, did the um? It was a Peter built. They start bringing you money yet? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, gang. I so I'm like a loan shark. That's kind of like what I do with my paperwork, right? Mm-hmm. I loan out money, put people under contracts in a way, right? Where it's legal, and um, I charge a percentage, mm. like Shark Tanking in a sense. Okay, so it's not your business per se. I got a percentage, and if the business doesn't fail to bring me in the money, I take over the business. Dang. That's just a part of my cat. That's one of my pieces of incomes. Like I got, yeah. if I really could say how much shit I own, it would be like, <laughs> like I don't own everything, but like I got. Pieces I listen of everything. Yeah. Watch this. One of my partners, shout out G Money. He was like, "Gang, would you want ninety nine percent of a grape or thirty three percent of a watermelon?" Mm. And it hit me like, "Shit, I want thirty three percent of a watermelon." A lot of niggas want ninety nine percent. This all mine, but bitch, you ain't got shit. You mm-hmm. got a grape. Yeah. Well, swallow that motherfucker. Yeah, what they say? Nin- 99% of, 1% of something is better than 90, yeah, 100% yeah. of nothing. Jay-Z, the theorem with him and Ace, like, you know what I'm saying, with 50%. Mm-hmm. You, if I can get 33, 33, 33, 33, 33 of some big shit, instead of getting 99, 99, 99 of some little shit, I'm going to go with that. So I can say I own a chicken spot. I can say I own a barbershop. I can say I own trucking. I can say I own you studio. But I don't. You're 1% in. I, yeah, 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 yeah. That's ownership. Yeah, yeah, that's ownership in a sense. But like I don't even, sometimes when you got a bigger brand than people and you got a little more liquid than people, they take kind of, when they built their baby from the ground and they be missing that certain little piece of money that they need to get it off, they be taking that shit personal mm. that you claim in the business that you own when you ain't putting none of the sweat equity in besides cash flow. See what I'm saying? So I don't ever really tell my fuckers I own a lot of shit. I just be like, look, man, I'm an angel investor. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I do shark tanking, loan sharking. I get my paperwork out the way, do good contracts. I don't give a fuck if you sell socks. Mm. If I give you my money and that's just what I want back, go sell a billion socks. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. Just as long as my money come in, every payment that you say you're going to pay it. That's it. So you bought the trucks for somebody else's company. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Damn. the company is in my family. Okay. So it's not even like I bought it for... It's like it's a family company. So it's like I ain't worried about it. When they long gone and done and the trucks still used or we sell the trucks, I'm going to pass that shit down on my little partners or my little cousins and brothers. Now, I asked that because a few rappers I know got trucks. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, like, is Logistics that something is everything. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Um, I feel like, yeah, because shit, just think about it. How you going to get this shit? No, nah, fact. But I'm saying, is it something easy to get into? That's if what you I'm got curious. a driver, if you got if they got the CDLs and you trust them, and you and you got a truck that's good condition, and you can pick up dispatch. I feel like the hardest part of trucking is dispatch. Like, okay, it's getting the loads. Okay. But once you manage and learn your dispatch, and you got your route and the people who you fucking with, like your plugs, who you got your normal buys who buy weed or whatever. Once you got your shit set up, you coasting, you floating, okay. you getting that money every day, all day. All right, that was a quick sidebar. So when the last time you dropped some music? Mm. I dropped Role Model in 2022 last year. 
I think in like October or some shit. Just a quick thing. <clears throat> I dropped it because I, I wasn't dropping at first, right? Right. I was in basically in my in my business bag, bro. Like, I feel like being independent and owning an independent label, I own One Nation. It's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it, it costs. It costs, and that's why a lot of people lose hope. They see how much that shit costs. They're like, man, look, I didn't put thousands and thousands. I ain't seen shit from it. Mm. They look at themselves in the red. But this, I, I look at music shit like a trap. Mm. If I put a thousand dollars in and I make a eleven hundred. I just won. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Because it's a profit. If you buy a bag of weed right now for 2000 and you go sell it to four them for 24 and you made four points, you just won. Mm -hmm. Look at it like that with records. If I put $1,000 into this record, I shoot a video for five, four thousand, whatever, and I can make 6000 or even 5500 500 profit, and I can do this once a month, I won. Mm. Shit, that's a profit. I could put that shit in the trust for my kids. I, I, the, I could do anything with that money. Like, pay a phone bill. Shit. You, music is like, come on, man. This shit residual. Like, you got to understand the game. This shit get different. And one thing I was curious to know about, uh, specifically for you, because um, you re you're really invested in your look. Yeah. But I feel like that's just who you are. Like, some niggas is like that. Yeah. I'm not one of them niggas, but I was curious to know, like, is it ever a time where when you might not have it, you're not going to come out? Like, like, do you take a break from music when the, when the money is low? Um, I feel like this, right? I have, I used to be like that. I used to be like, my money low, I can't pop out. Okay. It got to make sense. Independently, it got to make sense. Because we live in a world right now, bro, that every day motherfuckers act like they perfect. Like, you got to live mm -hmm. in a perfect world. Like, every day you going to wear this shit. Bro, I'm going to be a thousand with you. When I'm not busy, I'm a jumpsuit. I will wear the same outfit five days straight. Mm. Literally. Like, I I think I just did that. Like, I I go essential jumpsuit. Fear of God, five days. Take a shower, wash my ass, you know, no more. Yeah. Keep it moving. Yeah. It, it, and then when I pop out, I pop out with that shit on. Like, because I didn't put enough up or I didn't save enough. But yeah, I used to be like that if I ain't have it. I slow down for music type shit because I want my brand to be looked at a certain way. But I started learning like now, where I'm in a life now mentally, it's like I I took all my trials and errors in my bumps, so I know how to turn. I know what to slide, I know what to look for for a pothole type shit. So now it's like okay, just be consistent. Mm -hmm. That's the journey. Like that's that's the key piece is be consistent and give them everything. Let them learn and grow with you. Like if you got a dirty day, be dirty. <laughs> like. You know, if you fucking hoes, fuck hoes. You put that shit on, put that shit on. Because now they like, oh, he normal, but it's levels. It's crazy that you say that because, like, I it took me some time to even understand it. Because that's not me, right? So, like, my man oh, You got from, some good-ass liquor, boy. No, I appreciate it. Go ahead, you you got bro. some good tequila, boy. My man, nah, so my man, um, <laughs> shout out to Seven. Seven. Shout out to that nigga Seven. If you hate seven. this shit, boy, you turn. No, nah, no, nah, he don't hate it. He always tell me, like, oh. yo, Jay put me on with, like, nigga, Jay only drink good liquor. Uh, okay, like I, I, fuck with I was questionable at first. Nah, when you nah, nah. With this I, shit. I like, I, I like, uh, motherfucker, one eighty seven. Oh no, I like good. <laughs> I, I like good looking, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's my, that's my no, thing. For real. But um, I say to get back to what I was saying. At first, it took me a while to even understand that because my man from back in DC, shout out to my guy Holly. Um, he one of them niggas. You feel me? But it be times where like he can't, like, like if if, if shit ain't going good, he not about to make music. I'm like, bro, right. you gotta be consistent. So it's like it's so many niggas like that. Like I, yeah, I, yeah. I couldn't even fathom it at first. I didn't yeah. understand it. You gotta be consistent in that music shit. 
So what 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 um what got you to that point? What made you understand that? What was the breaking point for you to understand that even all if my, I don't have it, I gotta make music. All my homies, niggas around me, cause I like when I rap, like I really be rapping about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I've really been through. And if you listen to my music good enough, you will learn. Like a lot of people used to like when they like now, motherfuckers like I ain't gonna lie, gang. You got like that. You know how Money Man came out back then? You could learn shit from Money Man if you learn, if you in that lane for real. Yeah, facts. That's how I am. I just feel like you got to pay attention because I be still trying to, like, watch out for them, you know, for the Jakes. Like, I don't want to say too much, you know, but I still give a nigga a sidebar to a nigga. If you know if you outside, you know, like, oh, he just said some shit that it'll fly with a nigga here every time because I'm just strategic like that. But consistency for sure. Nigga, my homies used to hit me all the time. Gang, drop, drop, drop. What is you doing? Mm. I used to be like, gang, I ain't gonna lie. It gotta just make sense. Yeah. Shit gotta make sense. I gotta have that. I like, gotta pop out because that's gotta, what people know you I for. Gotta, it's gotta pop out type shit. But now it's like, I was in the studio with Brody yesterday. I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, now, <laughs> I don't even give a f- Like, I feel like he, I feel like he's stunting. I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like he still probably gotta make sure he got that shit. For I just sure, like but it's be... for sure I gotta have, but now it's I don't like, see you popping out if you don't got no shit. She hit. She hit. I'm a fucking robot, bro. All right, I be, all right I'm gonna happen? hold you to that. I'm gonna hold I'm you a, to that. I'm a fucking robot, bro. If if I told you what I did in the last two, three days, gang, you'd be like, What you do? Bro. We here, fuck it. I done bought a penthouse. I done bought a trap house, a studio house, mm. and a condo. I done paid movers. I didn't have to stand over painters. I been wearing the same outfit four days straight. I done had a nigga just take thirty thousand dollars from me that I that that a motherfucker couldn't believe did it. Mm. Been on the phone with them. I had to take care of some shit with my family. Like, I done flew up back and forth from two different states. I done done a lot of shit. Like, I'm talking about, like, with the same clothes, same shit outside. I, how about this? I Ubered here. Mm. And I got a Rolls Royce truck. I hopped in a fucking Nissan just a little while ago with all this shit on, pipe it in a Nissan. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna just go ahead and get it done. I just do this shit on quick. Like, ain't no pressure, you know. But I'm saying, like, I don't care no more, bro. I, I'm a nigga. The body beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My shit beat up. Like, I'm cool now. Like, I all the scars I done did and everything I done took. A nigga, like, all right, cool. I'm numb to that shit. Like, looking back on it though, do you feel like you know how some people have um, fixes and like they addicted to certain shit? You got drug addicts. You got weeds. Yeah, alcoholics. Looking back on it, do you feel like you was addicted to the life of I don't know, like the the life of perception or, or rock and shit for people to look to to carry the image? I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like, um, back then, well, looking back on it though, looking back on, um, yeah, I cared about what people thought of me, mm. type shit. I feel like everybody got that little piece in them when they oh, care yeah. about what people think about them. You know what I'm saying? That's why Instagram did what it did. Facts. Um, still to this day. Still to this day. <laughs> but I feel like, like, I feel like that was a part of me how I was making money. So I had to look like that way. Mm. That was one of my. In- I'm an engineer type of dude. Like I come from an engineer family. Mm. So like I majored in computer science and shit. Like I'm smart as fuck. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like I take shit and open it up and break it down. Like that's what's driving me the money. So if I keep wearing this raw ass shit popping out like this, people gonna give me they, you know, a motherfucker's gonna politic and people wanna make money with me because I look better than a normal person. Mm. I got to, I got more than a normal person on. Nigga, like seeing is believing. That's what the world is. That's what the world yeah. believe. No, I'm a right. faithful, I'm a faith type of nigga, but seeing is believing. You, you right. see me come in with a two fifty worth of change, you're gonna be like, hey man, how can I get some money? No, you're right. You're right. You see me coming with a plain Jane. A lot of niggas don't even know what this watch is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But if you know, you know. No, you got to tell me because I don't know. I'm one of them niggas. It's one of them six regional type shits. What's that? I don't know. It got six different on. regionals and times. Oh, shit. China, Tokyo. What's the name of it? You got to put me on, nigga. I don't know. I'm, I, like, I ain't scared of niggas. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to tell niggas straight up. I ain't scared of the internet. Nah, niggas be stealing sauce, bro. Okay. I'm cool on, so I'm cool on that now. I gave enough to the world. You can't tell. You can't put niggas on with them. When we off the shit, I say less. Say less. Say less. Put you down. Say less, you know, say less, put you down. Say I probably can't even afford that shit. You can keep that shit. It ain't, you know. <laughs> that's cool. You keep that shit. Master up. P just had one on. He got a flutter one. Um, I seen. I think Nas had a couple of motherfuckers got them, and I was like, damn, I, okay, I'm in the right direction. Okay, that makes sense. Your time is everything, especially if it's six different clocks, mm. six different incomes. No, I told my man, listen, I told my nigga, I got, I got a Movado, nigga, like that's. Just let you know I'm regular, but it's still 
it's still some. So is it you got a Movado because you like the Movado or you got a Movado? Like if you had a million dollars, would you have a Movado on? So if I had a million dollars, I do like Movado. If but you I had feel a million like dollars, you have a Movado on? No, I probably would have a plain Jane. Exactly. For sure. Okay. But I don't have a million dollars, so I ain't about to... I, so one thing about me, I'm never about to chase nobody. That's You're why living I be, in your truth. Yeah. So so I was telling my man, like before I could afford Movados, I would have Citizens. Six hundred dollars mm. watch. That was that was my thing. That's your thing. And before the, and after that, my my step up was Movado, thousand twelve hundred. That's why it's probably why you doing so well with your podcast. Yeah, I just keep staying my lane. Staying I ain't in your lane, staying <laughs> true, and your shit growing organically. Facts. But that's why I love to have these conversations because it's funny because like certain people, a lot of people don't want to talk about you know, but it's a certain way to talk about things that's it's just different. That's you know facts. Saying? That's and, facts. And, and, and that's just that's just. What I live in. That's you know what I'm facts. saying? That's um, facts. Now that you're here, you, you're making the music. Mm-hmm. How you feeling in this space and, and making music now that you know so much? Bro, I'm confident as fuck. Mm. Like, I'm confident as hell. I really can rap now. Like, when, you know what? The you pro- always seem confident, though. Yeah, because I just had paper and I just was fucking everybody bitch, so I ain't care. Like, okay. this rap nigga was rapping, yeah, but that his hoe was sucking, you know? Yeah, so I'm no, like, facts. whatever. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you, you pipe, but your hoe getting pipe. Like, mm, I don't yeah. care. You know, so, but now I'm confident with my music. Like, I go to the studio. I built a, I got a studio house that I just built literally this week. Mm. In Atlanta, in a condo, in a high rise. Congratulations, too, dog. Appreciate it. So, like, now I could just go and press play and just rap for real. Like, damn, I really just said that? Mm. And then when I listen to my music, I'm a, again, I'm a, I'm a robot, bro. I just constantly critique, 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 critique. And so, like, I get in them up and I ain't gonna lie, you ride. Like, this project I'm finna get ready and drop Friday, right? Time to talk. Mm. I supposed to drop it last year. We gotta put a date on it, just in case. Yeah, bro. time to talk. Come out this Friday, February 3rd. You know what I'm saying? Go download it on all platforms independently. Y'all know how this shit go. I'm talking. It's mm. time to talk for real. Like, time to talk one is right now. Time to talk two is in three months. And I don't even want to talk is in another three months. <laughs> nah, for real. What you talking about? Just everything. I feel like I'm talking about my Chicago lifestyle more. Again, I came up in a world where I don't believe in, like, snitching and I don't believe in giving the internet... Um, Everything, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I don't like fucking going to jail. I done been to jail several times. I don't like that shit, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of watch how, but I feel like now, I I feel like I, I my whole brand, I was a fucking filter. Like my whole, my whole Instagram, my whole personality was a filter because I just didn't want people to know like, damn, fool, really like, because... I believe in, I can go in front of a judge and the judge will wholeheartedly believe me that I didn't kill a motherfucker or I didn't do what I did. Like, no, I didn't do that. I'm, I don't, I don't like, want to be, like, known as this what he like or this what he is. I want that, that like, shit like that's supposed to be unseen. A month, like, you don't let a nigga know all your moves. Like, play chess. You know what I'm saying? Why the hell am I finna let you know it'll get like that and that you, like, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of lived with a tent, bro, or a, a filter. Mm. Like, I didn't show. I'm from a real block. Like, I got real niggas. I got real homies locked up and all type of shit. But I never showed them because, like, I tried to be too perfect. Like, every time you see me, fool got the best of shit. Then comes so now, like, my and my homies hated that about me. They like, bro, why the fuck don't you show what you really been through, what you really go through? And I'm like, gang, I ain't gonna lie. That's not the way you gain the fans. Like, but not knowing, that's how you gain. The floor. You guys to have the platform. You can live in a high rise all you want. If your foundation is not right, your ass gonna fall. This Big bad is, wolf gonna blow your shit down every time. This shit is so hard, bro, because it's so many, like, it's so many people like you, like, that, like, it's, it's a lot of niggas getting to it. And a lot of niggas feel yeah. like they gotta be getting yeah, to it to keep, to keep that motion going. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I love what you're saying, because... It ain't me, but it's so many people like that. Like, Hell it's so yeah. many niggas that's really... And they get into it, though. Like, you yeah. said, like, it's niggas really... Yeah. But it's like, if they they feel like if they not doing that, they can't do nothing else. Yeah. And that's not true. Yeah, it's not true. And that's what my platform got, is about. It's I about, think this year alone, I just learned how to... Like, last year, 2022, um, after everybody money started leaving, right? Mm. So everybody fucked up. <laughs> niggas know. Ain't no secrets. Right? I feel like I became transparent 
mm. with life. Like, stop trying to make it seem like you you cap into yourself like you ain't really like niggas be acting like they rich having paper. Out. Man, we know who who got what and what's going what. If that shit don't align, it's all about alignment. You can't have a Rolls Royce gang and you stand still in the hood, gang. You can't have a big ass. Like, it's just certain shit. You can't have 200 on your neck and your people ain't got what it got to align. So now I start learning, like, all right, balance. Find, my hardest task in life was finding balance. I didn't know I didn't know how to balance. I, all this year, last year, I prayed for balance because we from Chicago. We got a different mindset, PTSD, traumatized. Seeing killers every day, best friend dying, little brother dead, motherfuckers in jail, 40, 50 years doing jersey numbers, like, no more, like, it get crazy, you know what I'm saying? So now, and then on top of trying to keep a clean face and a fly thing on Instagram and be acting like you ain't got shit going on, man, that shit will take the breath out your ass immediately, you know what right. I'm saying? Niggas die, from, niggas die from stress and guns all day long. I be telling niggas, I was about to say, like, that's what my platform is about. It's about what makes you human. Like, because mm -hmm. I feel like relatability sells. If I feel like, if I can look at somebody and be like, oh, he's just like me, then I'm going to buy into it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or yeah. he's somebody I want to be, I'm going to buy into it. Yeah. And that's yeah. why I feel like these stories are so important because it's about what makes you human. It's about Man, what makes I you relatable. I ain't going to lie, bro. I just learned that shit like a year and a half ago. Mm. Put it on the flow. That's your foundation. Like, it's okay. Mm. Like, that shit. If you going through anything or you trying to live a perfect life, nobody's perfect. Everybody go through shit. I watch billionaires cry. Mm. I got billionaire homies, for real. Like, I got a billionaire couple of partners that I done been on boats with these niggas and, like, they going through it. Like, I'm like, how? Mm. You got every fucking thing. We on a hundred foot yacht. Nigga, like, bro, you don't understand. The smallest shit. My wife drunk, got too drunk and was vulnerable and fucked. Like, crazy shit. Like, damn. I guess life ain't. It's perfect as niggas seem, like, yeah, you know? always something. So at the end of the day, like, lay it on the floor and find balance and be transparent and accept everything that come your way and just learn how to box. Mm. Roll with the punches. Because life going to beat your ass every day you wake up. Like, this shit is not free. This shit not cheap. It's motherfuckers being born every day, finagling, finessing, fucking. It's, that's just what's going on. So at the end of the day, <laughs> roll with this shit. Nah, facts. You get one of these motherfuckers, boy. You'll be a fool to check out and you ain't done shit. You ain't completed nothing. Facts. You a waste of space. You might as well die today. Yo, talk about this then. I feel like everything you saying, I feel like social media make it so hard for a nigga to be straight. Like, um, on a straight path. Like, I feel like when we talking about not talking about everything, not saying things, but we see so many times, it's like social media. We talk about niggas trying to trick you out your spot. It's like social media... Have so many people trying to trick you out your spot because they want to know you a gangster. They want to see that's the what rule. you really did. That's the rule. That's the rule. Like that's the rule of promoting this dumbass shit. And it's like I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like we lack leaders. Mm. We just lack them. Like in our culture alone, I ain't talking about any other race. I'm talking about in the black community, we lack leaders. It's niggas out here forty or thirty five or rapping their ass off and. <laughs> they rapping about perks and treating bitches wrong and doing all this other shit because they getting paid from it. Mm. So is you a slave to the dollar? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I'm just like, I understand the job because mm. I, I do music. You know what I'm saying? So I understand the job. But it's like, damn, like, find balance with that shit. Everything is about learning how to find that balance. Facts. Are you, know you are you not getting too caught up in the social media games? Like, for example, when I say to be trying to trick you out your spot... I seen um, this might be an extreme example, but the Boston Richie shit, right? And I think the nigga Ten Eighty Jake is that his name? I don't even know the nigga name. You probably know the name Ten Ninety. Mm -hmm. They posted him about being a, a, a snitch or whatever, and he was like, he was giving fake names. And in my mind, I'm like, you probably don't want to say you was giving fake names because can't they come back for you? I, I don't know. But I'm like, bro, it's so hard because you, it's like you gotta. Prove yourself yeah. almost. It's like you got. It's like because that's 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 an extreme example. Because like niggas Bro, don't want what, that tag on. I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> Do you see this shit on white Instagram? No, 
Do you see those shit? Do you see the shit no. on Asian Instagram? I don't even see Asian or white Instagram. Do you no. see Insta- Asians on Instagram? Do no. you see white people? You see them, but like y'all see them, but I don't see them talking about that shit. The politics. Do you see? The, you know why? This shit. We are, black people are the biggest fucking consumers in the world. We all know this, and that's the fucked up part. We know it, and we still. It's such a drug. We're bro. We so. We 50, 60 years in the making of coaching and trying to get out this shit, bro. Like, it's really going to be hard to try to get us as a team, as a coach, as a people to, like, not chime into it. Mm. That's just being real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you still trying to find balance and not trying to have to prove to the naysayers? That's why I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck no more, bro. I don't care. Like, I really don't care. Okay, okay. Like, who am I proving this to? We got one God. We live under one. That's it. I, that's one nation under God. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I'm about. So it's like, we all eat, sleep, piss, shit, like, the same. die. Mm-hmm. I don't care no more about if you fuck with me or you don't, or you like what I say or you don't. I don't care, bro. Like, you like you don't pay my bills. You ain't fucking my bitch. You ain't popping out my kids. Whatever. Like, Talk about the... the um. The stress of finding that mindset and staying in that mindset. Cause I feel like Hell yeah, it's stressful. so you gotta be a fucking robot, bro. It's yo, it's like people don't talk about this enough, bro. It's like the minute you find the right path or you start to do the right thing, Boom. it's so easy to just Boom. like everything start Boom. coming at you. Boom. And it's so easy to just go the opposite way. Manifestation at its best. And on top of that, like people see. When gravity is levitating, mm. you see it. The whole that's what people you change, you change, you changing. Mm, nah, I ain't really changing. I'm elevating. Yeah, I'm growing. Is that changing? And it even if I be. am, you're not. I'm not. I didn't do all this shit. Entitlement to, to black people. <laughs> mm. Facts. Let be like, come on, gang. We gonna talk. We gonna talk like entitlement. Mm. We come from homes with one mother, maybe one father, maybe. Some ones got both families at home, but they beefing and they doing slick shit. Humanity taking effect, like, or you come from a fucked up background, homeless, you didn't got molested. Who knows what the fuck your past has? That is a lot, man. So at the end of the day, like, but that shit go on in other races, but it's like the black, like, it's something that we got that we just can't get away from, bro. We got, I don't know, bro. It's an empty space that needs to be fulfilled by something, and money ain't going to do it for sure. Mm. It's more so like trying to understand statistics of balance and love and education. But I really think, to be real with you, I just think that um, we just like education. That's like the key piece. When you like information, you you become confused. So it's like, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. So you just react off emotion. I believe in this. I believe in this shit. Right. This is how I live my day, my life every day now. From today on, and I say this in front of the world. Like, I believe. And logic, love, and lifestyle. These three L's, right? Logic, love, and lifestyle. That's what I believe in. It has to logically make sense for me to deal with you. I have to love you. You have to match my lifestyle for you to be close. That's how I feel. That's what I feel right now. Like right now, look at my partner right now. Logically, it's smart to deal with him. I love him only because I've been dealing with him the same way for the last nine years. Mm. And he matched my lifestyle. Genuine, solid, family man. Rock it. I deal with that. If I de- if I see a robber, if I see a nigga who a snake, a backdoor nigga, a nigga who kill motherfuckers, like, logically is it smart? Hell no. What the fuck? Do I love him? I may love this robbing ass nigga because I grew up with him 10 years. Do he match my lifestyle? Hell the fuck no. So you know who he is? He a negative one for three. Let's pause, You got to push that nigga to the side. Hold up, bro. You said some shit that I, even, I'm not even going to lie, even went over my head. I feel like, so many people hear lifestyle and they think of what you look like. Yeah, first I ain't thing that, about that first thing that come to mind is like my lifestyle, what you look like. My cars, my crib. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> lifestyle is deep. Lifestyle is deep. That's hard. Lifestyle can get into nigga. Is you a loyal man? That's lifestyle, hard. A relationship guy. Do you want a wife? Do you want to build generational wealth? That all that shit is a part of lifestyle. It ain't just about cars and clothes and hoes and money. That ain't hell no. That's hard. We ain't talking about just that game. That shit hey. come. That's some rip. That's hard. Pull up to that. That's hard. Pull I like up. that, bro. <laughs> Got his ass on the When you said bro. it, when he said it, I'm like, 
Nah. You feel me? Like, is he loyal? Is he, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. some real yeah, shit, Yeah, that's bro. the real one. That's, that's the some real, real one. shit. Yo, let me ask you this. Um, Speaking of uh, your three L's, I ask people this often. If you had to give me these three things in order of most important to least important, what would it be first, second, and third? When it come to what? My three Love, L's. loyalty, and respect. What has to come first and what has to come second? Love, loyalty, and respect? Mm-hmm. Um... It just depends, honestly. I feel like, um, me personally, love will be last. That's Mm -hmm. just me. Like, you can love a person, but, like, you ain't got to, that person ain't got to be loyal to you. That person ain't got to respect you, but they can love you. You know what I'm saying? So, I would put um, respect first. That's me. And then loyalty. Because if you respect that person, you tend to be loyal. Mm. And then love will be last. So it'll be respect, loyalty, then love. Type shit. You know? I ain't mad at that. Yeah. Yo, coming out of Chicago, man, what is that? What does that mean to you? Everything. That shit make warriors. <laughs> that shit make warriors, gang. Like, and of course, like Everybody think when they think Chicago, they think drill, they think killing. Yeah, we all come from that. That's true. Well, the South Side. I'm from the South Side. My mama grew up on the East Side of Chicago. I'm an East Side baby for real, and I'm a South Side baby for real. Like, I got two blocks. I'm under one, like, type of gang, but I got two blocks, you know what I'm saying, that I deal with on an everyday, day-to-day basis, group chats and all, you know what I'm saying? But Chicago build warriors. If you come from Chicago, you almost damn near in the military. You can identify. It's all about information. You able to identify like when some get tricky, when a motherfucker playing. But then it's his pros and his cons. Mm. You don't trust for real. You know what I'm saying? You you side eye everybody. You don't like. You don't learn how to explore. You don't become transparent. You tunnel vision because all you know is, you know what I'm saying. So it's a gift and a curse, and we don't get a lot of light shined on the people like me that come from there. Um, we don't get a lot of light shine from the people that like me that come from there, right? And it's like, only because sometimes my folks don't be wanting to hear. At first, I was rapping on my positive shit, like, you know, trying to just, like, rap about business and money and plays and ways and da-da-da. And then, like, you get outvoted by the niggas who just want to kill. Because yeah. the, 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 the era of it. But then, again, if you use that as your pawns when you play chess first to make your first move, and then you adjust your rooks and your knights to kind of like will them in to really get the bigger picture. They slowly come in and just take a longer time. And I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. Like right now, this Time Talk project, I stopped caring about how I'm looking. And I'm really here to play the game. Like I'm really here to talk about, yeah, we really have pipes. We really get on your ass. We really get money. We really fuck y'all niggas hoes. We really put this shit on. We really get money. We really own businesses. We really one man, one band, one sound. Like this that's what I'm rapping about in time to talk. Fuck fool. He backdoed me. Fuck him too. He ba- like I'm on that. And then once the people draw it in, I'm able to I'm using I, I got it. I got the ass. I got him. Yo, it's funny. We was damn, this is like third time we talked about this, right? Kyron, we was talking about like sometimes you gotta feed people um medicine inside the candy. What I mean by that is Boom. sometimes, you sometimes you gotta that. give niggas what they want. <laughs> it's just you gotta give the melatonin suckers. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes <laughs> melatonin. Huh, sometimes baby, take this. Go your ass to sleep. Yeah, like if they want the gangster shit, I'm gonna give you the gangster shit. But as soon as I get my audience, now I can show you this is what I'm really about. Exactly. This is what it's exactly. really about. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. And I think that's what Jay did. In a sense, he talked about hardcore shit. But about, that was his life then, though. Yeah, it, yeah. And he sense. started getting money, and he started talking about. But watch this, though. That's I feel like corely. It's all about the core. It's mm. the strongest muscle. Like mm. Jay been that. <laughs> like he been a nigga like that. Yeah, yeah. Because you just don't get those type of tools. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If you like, like, yeah, you sell dope. Like that's who don't like whatever. You know, you outside, you ain't going. Who ain't? You in New York, nigga? We in Chicago. Y'all in Philly. Y'all in wherever. Like, it's trenches everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So you come from the trenches, just the trenches. That's the code name. They be like, I come from Chicago, I come from New York. Nigga, you come from poverty. Facts. I'm from Baltimore, so I get it. 
if I, if I, Yo, when I say I get it, I like, get it. I hate when people say, yeah, bro, like, we real life like that. Da, 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 Chicago, we just like Chicago. Bro, it's a million places just like this motherfucker, For the dead, bro. Everybody. everybody poor. Everybody broke as hell. Like, that's a fact. We all broke as fuck. And then like, if we go out the it. country, it's get worse. Oh, don't go to third world. For real, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Your ass is grass. We thought we had it, but we you, thought niggas was gangsters. Come on, bro. We ain't even see nothing. Come on, man. We got a gray area. Credit. Mm. Facts. <laughs> Yo, somebody, I seen, I seen somebody. Um, this is random. I seen somebody post this on that podcast, and they said people that's doing credit repair is scammers. That's a fact. I think. You think so? Yeah, at times, talk, depending talk on the situation. Help me up. Help me up. I used to be a scammer. See, Boom. I had a really good experience. So wait, wait. So you wait, because I had a really good experience with the credit. Yeah, yeah. Shit. It depends on the person and the need and the time of their money. A nigga help you make some money if you want to do good business and know you're a solid person and think he can go further with you. It's only a matter of time before that balloon pop. Mm. Know that a nigga may build you up for 30, build you up for 60, build you up for 90, and then be like, you know what? We gonna blast his ass at 120. Mm. Depending on his situation and his living, you gotta start paying attention to people's lifestyles, bro. Who around them? Why not? A lot of people not gonna be around them. Like, is it logic? It go back to these bitches every time. Three L's, bro. Logically smart, yeah. Do you love him? You don't love that person who built you. You may gain love because he been good lifestyle wise and he been good logically, but that sh- that love piece gotta grow. Like, you gotta history creates love. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like. Yeah, people build credit. They found a loophole way to do good business and bad business if they tend to, to. If they want to. Oof, that's I I mean, I'm Sheesh. one I'm one of a kind type nigga too. Like, it's real. Like shit. If you man, if I take a loss a <laughs> hundred thousand and <laughs> you throw a goldfish in the fucking lake or or the ocean with sharks, what the fuck gonna happen? He ain't going to survive. He's not going to survive. And, and again, black people. First of all, why the fuck is everybody getting their shit repaired? Mm. We lack information. Boom. Again, like, it goes back to this. None of our fucking mothers, bro, added us on their credit cards. Let's be real. My mama put my name in a cable. I'm, every nigga, nine times out of ten, got their mama, yeah, sure. mama to put their name in the cable bill. For like, sure. come on, let's be for real. Like, you know our generation, saying? anyway. Maybe not yeah, our children. Yeah, yeah. But, but our generation, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Credit was fucked before you even knew it was credit. For like, sure. So at the end of the day, you got you was getting repaired at seventeen. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, man, look, and they came from a heroin and cocaine era, so they needed That's the money. They was addicted. I ain't gonna lie, I'm jealous of them. As much as I hate our parents, I'm jealous. Cause like you said, yeah. It came from the, the heroin and, and cocaine era. And these motherfuckers lived till they was like 80. Yeah. We dying young now, bro. It's motherfuckers just crazy. getting their ass smoke. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. The world is more emotional than anything. And even days. health conditions. Like, people, my mom, my mom's did crack. My mom's is 77 years old, bro. Like, bro, bro. She's like, I'm telling healthy. you, I'm telling you why people are doing drugs. We we emotional as fuck because mm. social media made us emotional. Like, That's a fact, bro. Like, look, nowadays you can be emotional. You can walk in a room with only 20 people. You can be like, you get talked about by five. Two may like you. One may think you weird. Another one may fuck with you. I'm like, oh, you cool. Oh, give him a chance. Nowadays you post that same shit on Instagram. Instagram algorithm explore page. You got a million motherfuckers, a hundred motherfuckers, two, three hundred motherfuckers judging your life every mm. day. But if you don't get on Instagram, you out the loop. But if you're on Instagram, you gotta be a, you gotta be critiquing. Isn't it crazy thing. because you get like you said, right? This is sick that you say that, right? You get on Instagram, man, you motherfuckers judging you and critiquing you. But if you get on Instagram and not enough people see you, you still feel away. So that's what that's what I'm trying to that's tell you. Crazy. You gotta get to a point, bro, where you're doing it for you. Mm. I feel like not shit. That's what I'm doing it for. I don't really care about who listen to my music or who don't. I'm doing like I like literally my homies has begged me to drop my project, bro. Like, bro, drop it. And I'm like, can I tell y'all something? My music is my real life journal. Mm. I don't write. Like I don't go in my journal. I don't not a guy who go in the journal and write. Like I just Put a mic up, put a beat on, beat be talking to me, and I talk back to it. And then I like it. I listen to it by myself. It put me in good moods, good spaces, and it it documents where I was at in life. Mm. 
That's all I that's all I do with music. That's all I feel in music. That's it. Like I don't care if it's one person out there that's like, bro, I love Rari. Like I love Rari True. Like I fuck with that because it's like gang, to be honest with you, it wasn't for y'all anyways. It was for me. Mm. And I feel like that's where I'm at now. At first I, I was trying to make a song. Like I was trying. I feel like now it's gonna happen organically. And I don't care if it do or don't. That's the thing. I don't even care. Like, you gonna fuck with it, you gonna listen to it or you not. And then like, I'm just going to keep going about my way. I get a couple of dollars from it. Hey, it is what it is. I was going to actually ask you that question, bro. I swear, bro. So it's crazy that you even brought that up. It's so many successful artists out here who we don't know. That's a fact. And I was going to ask you. I swear to God, I had it in my mind to ask you. And I was going to ask you, are you okay with being one of those artists? Gang, yeah. That's a... That's a I, again, I treat this shit like the trap. Mm. This shit is like... This is a source of income. Mm. It's only one. Like, I'm a, again, I'm a businessman at heart. Like, this is one source of income. Like, you know what's so I make many... about, bro, on some real shit, and I ain't even gassing. Like, I make good money. I could pay my rent, my phone, and my car note, damn now. Maybe at times. Off music. One, one stream. Okay. And put on clothes. Like, and help my BMs out and my people. That's out. a lot of money you're talking about for the, just the one. Yeah, I mean shit. In the first like three, four months, when it be up, when it peak up, like when you first drop, it be hard. And then you know it mellow out, balance out, okay. whatever. But like by that time, them first two, three months that it didn't peaked up, that I done did my thing on, I done made my money back plus some. And I'm like, all right, cool. Again, bro, if you make a hundred dollars off something you won, mm. you ain't lost. No facts. Any profit. Fuck. Any profit. Any fucking with me. If I get it back, I'm I'm happy. You happy? <laughs> if I just get it back, you, I'm that's good. shit like stocks. <laughs> like, Run this motherfucker. Please I, give me my motherfucking money if back. If I get this shit back, I'm the guy's a win for me. Okay then. And let that shit live on. It's, it could be one person listening to your shit once a year. You get two cents for that motherfucker. You won. Facts. You won. Okay. It may not be as big as your expectations, but you won. Nah, for Keep sure. dropping. Load the fuck up. It's so many rappers who, and I'm not gonna lie, I learned that in 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 this interview space. I'm keeping mm-hmm. it hundred. I'm gonna be all the way hundred with you. Like I'm like, bro, it's so many rappers that's successful and we don't know them, and that's and they're okay with that. Yeah. And but it's so many rappers who not they want the fame with it. Like they want. I used to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I used to be like that. Like that shit is crazy. You bro. want that shit because you start you 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 not when you do shit like that when you want it so bad, you gotta close the curtains. You are looking too high mm-hmm. to other people's lives. Talking some shit. Now that's real. Like when you want something so bad, it's because you've seen it somewhere. Mm, that's true. Man, I want them shoes only because you've seen them on another nigga's feet. I want that car only because that bitch rolled past you. Mm. I want that chain only because you've seen it on a nigga's neck. That's it. I want a million dollars only because you see what a million dollars can do. Mm. So anytime you want something really, really bad, it's because you've seen it already. You know what I'm saying? And you see what it do or what it is and you kind of want to that's why we call entitlement, jealousy, envy. All those characteristics come from that engine. Yo, you're so right. Because even with the money aspect, everybody say like, nah, money can, it can give you a better life and create happiness. But think about it like this. If nobody in the world had money and you saw people being happy, you would be okay with that. That's like you would be, you would find, you were trying to find happiness in some other some way. Some other way. Yeah. But you got to know that humanity going to always find, find ways to, become scientific bro mm. that's just that like that's the, we live in a world of science gang like you got and that's why my favorite subjects was math and science like you gotta be strategic with this shit bro like <laughs> I wanted to ask you this when you brought up the money man shit mm. how did money you probably don't know but I'm just curious how did he get away with saying all that shit mm. Cause he gave niggas the game like straight up. He ain't cut no cards. Then you get a laptop, I mean, you get rich. Shit. He literally said, "I mean, that. Like, I, I, I ain't get away with this shit." I feel like again, like you never know niggas' paths, bro. I don't even pay attention to how niggas did it. Like I should have did it if that's the case. Like, but again, kudos to bro. I feel like he the only rapper that ever he. When I listen to his music, I'm like yo, he really getting niggas a game. Yeah, but he old enough to wear shit. <laughs> Statues limitation. Come on. You hear what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's your he know how to probably, he probably know how to play. Mm, that's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I rock with you, bro. I, um, this was good, man. I like this. Yeah. What you um? What else? I know you got the project dropping. What else you got going on? 
Well, I'm trying to do my second drop with my fragrance. I told you I'm building my development. Um, you got like a $300 fragrance. Nah, so I changed it because, again, I had to learn more with the oil concentration. I'm a real fucking nerd, bro, but I'm just like, I'm just solid. So it's not 300 no more? You nah, it's 145. It Only because it's a toilet and not a perfume. I learned the different levels of concentration of oil. Like, you get certain sh the reason why Baccarat and some of those fragrances is high as hell because the oil concentration will let it last longer. Right. And certain alcohols, how the skin treat it. It's all type of shit that come with this aesthetic shit we using. Face cream, all that shit come with that shit. So once I learned it and I put it in stores, like I was trying to get a Nemus, right? Mm -hmm. And I had the person who could have connected me to get a Nemus. But the price I wanted for the product was going to go against the balance it of what was already in Nemus. Like why I sell, why? They... Some of them is a toilet. They want eighty to a hundred dollars for that bottle. Why do you think this you as an independent black LLC company is gonna charge three hundred fucking dollars for a multi million dollar company who's been around for twenty some plus years or fifteen plus years that they want a hundred in bulk? We gonna go with them. Mm. This shit's all about low outcome, high income. Outside of your fragrance, what's your what's your favorite? Man. I got a couple, like, I'm, cause I'm a fragrance dude. So, oh, like, give me a couple. I mean, why sell wise? Fire. I like Baccarat, fire. Um, Kirky. You ain't heard of Kirky. I ain't hear about that. I'm gonna put you down when we get off this that. motherfucker. I'm gonna put you down. Kirky is the new shit. Like, it's that it, when you smell Kirky, you. It, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give you the scientific way to get in the drawers quick from home. Yo, well, I ain't trying to get. I got, I got a girl. Fuck around, get married. Soon. Uh, they is bloopers. Oh, I ain't no blue blue some damn real. I'm a real nigga. I don't got yeah. LV. LV, my boy. I LV. like I like um homage. Homage. That's my favorite yeah. one now. Yeah, yeah. We that should... go crazy. So you more of a, like a fresh scent? Yeah, I like homage, and I like. I mean, you might say I'm. It's old. It's old to a lot of people. I like uh, fucking fabulous. Mm. I really like that. Mm. The um, what is that? Um, Tom Ford. Fucking fabulous. That shit is really good. I like that. I like YSL too, though. What about Bond? I don't know. You got. I don't know. Bond number nine. I don't know. I no. I, I seen it. I didn't. I, I it's the one with the like the star. Yeah, I, I, I haven't tried it. I haven't yeah, the tried gold it. bottle, crazy. I like. Um, I even like Creed. I don't know if you fuck with that. Yeah, Creed like Ventus. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. But right now, I'm telling you, like, how to get that. See, I believe in the senses of the earth, like in humanity, like you gotta attack when you want to draw somebody in. You have to attack. All senses. Mm -hmm. The mind, the sights, the ears, the nose, mm -hmm. and the heart. For sure. So all those pieces come with gravitating energy. So you, you got to smell away. You got to look away. You're going to try to get a... Away. Are you going to try... Are you going to stick to where you at, or are you going to try to get a higher oil concentration so, so you can get So I've higher. already done it. So that's why I'm on my second launch. I'm going... I'm staying away from toilets, which is mm -hmm. alcohol-based. Mm. I'm going right into perfumes. It costs a little more, but I think... um what I want to do with that shit is going to take me to the next level. Yeah. And I'm going to say this on the air so therefore nobody can bite it. I'm building my own watch. That's hard. Yeah. Only because I understand the watch margin now. Everybody love watches. Mm. Time is very valuable. For sure. It's called June Purdy. It'll be dropping soon on in June, in a sense. One of these years, I'm partnering with a couple of jewelers because I spent enough money with jewelers to where uh, I should be having my own shit. I believe in that 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 like, I don't really like wearing and buying. Uh, like right now, independent brands, we find it. We find who we are, gang. You know That's what I'm the saying? way to go. That's the rawest shit ever. When you can put your homie pants on, and you still feel like they motherfucking facts, truths, or back then or a nah, for real. That's a you fact, know what bro. Saying? Like that shit hard, and they coming harder though. I ain't they gonna lie. coming crazy, but that's what the, they've been doing for the longest. They've been checking out the smaller brands and. Busting moves on them, and then when they come out, I'm like, oh, I had to. Then they see the system and da da da. da. But like, you know, you want a great space with the watch and the cologne. That's bro, a great space. Bro. All you gotta do next is just get a wallet clutch, and it's yeah. over. Yeah. Like, it's, I'm on that type. Like I'm really, over. I'm really into like building generational. Like I feel like I, when I leave the earth, I want to be like my my father built this watch for me. Mm. Like this is my father type of time, or my father smelled like this, or my father built this community. Like literally, like look, I'm 29. My 10-year goal, and I say this on the air because I want to document shit like this because 
I want in 10 years, a motherfucker to pull me up like, damn, you see how you said it? I did my research. So now I'm learning how to use these platforms as a goal, man, to let niggas know, like, ain't no more not documenting mm. <laughs> the trend who really set this shit on fire. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So in 10 years, I'm going to have personally two communities, 25 homes, 25 homes, dog park, pool, everything, name after my sons. Mm. Hunter Clay Estates, Aiden Clay Estates. That's hard at 29. That's crazy. That's different. Yeah, that's in 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, you having years. that goal already is Yeah, crazy. I want two communities built from the ground up, that's named hard. after my kids. That's and then hard. I want them to go to school in that community so when they do go to school and white people be like, oh, yeah, we stay in the Hunter Clay Estates. Bro, my father owned that shit. That's my name you stay in. That's hard. That's a flex. Yo, getting back to the fragrances, bro, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I'm definitely looking forward to you coming back out with the, um, the other fragrance because... I don't know if it is alcohol based, but you know what I don't like, bro. What is it wasting my money? What Dior? Yeah, that, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, you I, said didn't know, that. I didn't know. I didn't know any crazy. better. That's crazy. You said that, <laughs> bro. That shit is a waste of money, bro. <clears throat> Why you put that shit on? That shit's gone in ten minutes. Like, it's probably a toilet. Probably I don't know. It's alcohol based, but it probably is. So it probably just resonates on the skin a little while and then disappear. Trash. But you probably found some perfumes that you like. Oh, this shit lasts hours. I'm, yeah. And you lay in the bed. Boom. Pillow. You, YSL you, is like that. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Like you literally can spray your shirt down, and two days later, before you do laundry, you be like, and that Amaz oh, is yeah, like that it. too. Yeah. I'm gonna get on your shit though. The, um, yeah, Maviani. The, that I'm gonna get called Maviani. And the, um, and the other shit. Oh, Kirky. Kirky. Yo, I put you on Kirky. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that shit down. You gonna hit me? You gonna hit me? Like, bro, I appreciate the the Kirky look. What is it, like a five hundred dollar bottle for the? Um, not like three hundred. For real? But they perfume. It's a perfume. But bro, when I tell you, it's a unique. I believe in flight, like bro, like I'm just real particular guy. I'm a one of those particular type of guys. Shit, if it's three, that's not bad. Cause usually the good ones be like <clears> five, five, four, or five. Yeah, four, like four or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. depending on the oil, for uh, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Yeah. Three, that's not bad, bro. Trust me. I'm talking about standing my lane. That's pretty. That's my lane. I'm yeah, cool with trust that. Me, <laughs> trust me. Trust that. me. It's definitely, it's definitely a vibe. All right, now I appreciate you, bro. Um, anything we missed? Um. I don't really know. I mean, shit, you ain't talking, I mean, Chicago shit really like who I'm connected with, what the vibes is. I mean, shit. Go with, I mean, <laughs> I got a deluxe coming out. My deluxe, um, I got G Herbo. That's hard. 600 Buka. Buka um, is off. Vori. Man, bro. Vori is crazy. Uh, Look Will. What, you, you doing it with all these guys? My de- So my time to talk is strictly me, no features. And then my time to talk deluxe. It's Herbo, Buka, Vori, Quill, YSL Duke, Hollywood YC. I got like seven features, just all songs with them. Like I got features in my, like if niggas knew who I really can call on my phone with a FaceTime button, they respect me more in the industry. But I ain't really tripping. Cause like, That's now crazy. you just gotta, <clears throat> now you just gotta see it for what it is. Cause I get, res- like I'm, I'm gonna be a band, like a nigga may not follow you but a DM you. A nigga may not follow you, but to see you outside and be like, bro. Yeah, not for real. You hard. For sure. You don't follow me. How am I hard? That's a fact. This is a fact. Oh, <laughs> damn. I'm a trendsetter to you. Yeah, that's a fact. Bro. I get you, it all the time. Oh, I'm in your search. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, you got to know that's happening at all times. It's happening that you... It's, I do it. Mm. I made... Finster was built off... Let me go watch from this because I don't want to act like I'm... Yeah. You know, but again, like, I got a bunch of features and I get a bunch of respect from some of the biggest artists in the world that I see on a day to day basis. I want to get into the maybe we could say C level artists. Like, I'm I'm feeling that vibe because, like, niggas like Buka, yeah, like, that's the space, that's the that's the that's the best space to be in. Buka I need my the boy, Buka Humble, too. Yeah, he humble as hell. I talked to him the other day, I told him, like, look, man, we finna drop the deluxe. Send another piece of the session over. Like, all right, I got you, bro. And then we both from the rack. Like, we we been outside. Booga yeah. been outside. I been outside. Like, we been outside type shit. And that's yeah. what I told Hollywood. I'm like, yo, just lock me in with, like, because the niggas be sleeping on the next to blow niggas. Like, that's really the space to be in. Hey, look, this Time to Talk project is just a, um, it's an appetizer. Mm. Time to Talk 2, bringing out the entrees, you know, some cool. Time to talk three. I don't want to talk. Putting your ass to sleep. You're going to deserve it. But I believe, I believe you I like that. Cause you was um you was real tight with uh Vaughn. 
Yeah. Rest in peace, my dog. Yeah. That was so my I, that yeah, was my I celly. Believe, I believe that then. He yeah. was locked up in 2019 for like five, six months type shit. Mm. He got up before me. We got transported type shit then. Folks got up before me. What's so crazy is the night he passed away, I supposed to um I supposed to been at that place. Mm. Swear to God on my kids. Like God can strike me down right now. I supposed to been there. That was he, a club here? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He hit me. He hit me early. He was he had did a show. I think he was in Dallas or some shit that day, earlier that day. Or the day before or some shit. And he hit me. He like, gang, what you on? I'm like, shit at the crib. My, I was at my sister's spot. She was cooking and she made some spaghetti and shit. And I ended up catching the itis type shit. And I was coming dolo. I used them mood solo. He kept saying, pop out, gang, pop out with me, pop out with my show, my show, my show. I'm like, I'm gonna pop out. But I don't move solo. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I move with my homie or an extra set of eyes at all times. You know what I'm saying? So, and then especially when you're in those type of crowds, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand politics is everything, people is everything, relationships is everything. So I'm like, man, I'm going I'm to pop out, I'm pop out. End up catching the itis, called the little chick over to the crib. KO, woke up, sister wake me up. Get up, get up, get up. Literally when I say like I had a missed call from gang, I woke up from his missed call and then I went to the internet and seeing the shit going viral, I was tripping. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest with you, like, everybody say they know folks is like a demon or a slider, ooh, ooh, like, every nigga got that in them. I feel like everybody got that in them. But it's like, bro was really a, I feel like bro was really a genuine dude. Like, mm. what? Genuine as hell. Like, I was, listen, I was locked up with him. It's different from knowing him in the world. And then when we in a fucking six by 11, seven by 11, and we got a, or you my next door neighbor, and I'm listening to the songs that you already wrote, and then you got to have somebody put a beat to them, or we sharing trays, or you coming to my room, banging on my motherfucking door, asking for my, you know, chips and stupid shit, and we on phone with bitches and fans, and you going, you talking about you want to fuck one of the lady gods, and she ugly, and it's a whole different person that I know that I don't give a fuck when nobody say, like, I know a different person. Vaughn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, outside, yeah, a lot of people in the block may know him too differently, but I know incarcerated Vaughn. Like, I know the outside Vaughn and the incarcerated Vaughn. Mm. Like, every day, like, what you want? Like, a genuine nigga, a smile, love. Like, he love hard. So I feel like a lot of shit he probably was doing was out of the fact that people took real people he loved away. Like, mm. I would do the same shit. Like, I have done, like, you know, like, like, when you love hard, that shit could play on your. That shit could play on your body. That shit could play on your conscience. And we, then, that's real. We were talking about earlier when you were saying like it only hurts from the people that's closest to you. That's why it's called betrayal. Yeah, betrayal only yeah, hurts when it's yeah, somebody yeah. that 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 you thought loved yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like the folks, them. like Gang was a solid nigga, bro. Like mm. I real life fucked with him for real. And I'm gonna fuck who wanna what behind it. Like it'll go up in flames anytime, anywhere, wherever. You, like because he was a solid nigga. No matter how short our friendship and relationship was, like. I mean, I feel like me and bro was cool, like, no more than, like, a year and a half, two years. We knew each other through the rack, because we used to see each other outside, and then when he came out here with Smirk, and them, ooh, ooh, like, they'd be in the lure, we'd be popping out, throwing money, whatever, whatever, because I hung with some niggas that fooled and fucked with. They BDs, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a BD, I'm something else, but same token, like, I felt like shit. Since I known gang, it always been solid vibes, like, mm. real stand-up niggas. It's good that you say that, because... Yeah, like even with everything that's going yeah, on, they now, try to throw just a lot of you hear demon, demon allegations. Yeah. Like, yeah, we all man, you we from Chicago, gang. Every nigga got that demon in them. Every nigga can smoke something. I, I, they ain't just everywhere. Like niggas smoke shit every day, bro. People die every day from bullets. Like, so I know a nigga we ain't got no Instagram, whacking motherfuckers, whatever. Like, we no nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? But same token, I mean, shit, bro was a solid nigga, bro, and he would have been huge. Mm. Got to give respect. When respect, dude. When you a real nigga, bro. Like we lack real niggas. We know that. A lot of us know that. We ra- we lack real niggas. Like we lack them. And again, it's about <laughs> the people in front of us, bro. Like I feel like right now, Jay Z, what fifty, fifty yeah, something. He like shit. He like it's, it's, a, it's enough. <laughs> it's enough for running with the Jay Z. Like mm. everybody want uh, like bro. Who else? After folks, like, after Jay-Z, like, all right, cool. Like, we're going to go into, like, you know, the other little piece of the pod. But, like, damn, what the fuck? We we talking about our coaches, hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of thousands of motherfuckers, and we just look to 
five, mm. six, ten, maybe, maybe. Yeah, you know, like, come maybe. on, bro. Come on. That's a strong ass maybe, bro. You know, like, let's be for Pac. You know what I'm saying? Been going 20 something. Like, come on, bro. It's it's enough of <laughs> steady naming the motherfuckers that nobody really can get close to. Start naming motherfuckers you can really get close to. Like, real motivational motherfuckers. And I feel like that's why a lot of people like me, at this time now, I feel I'm on some real gangster shit. Like, I'm on some taking this shit. Like, fuck y'all niggas. Y'all can suck my dick. Oh, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you don't like me, it is what it is. You're going to die, I'm going to die, it is what it is, gang. Somebody got to stand up and say, look, this is what we doing. Because we lack father figures mm -hmm. as a whole. But that's the real gangster, right? We was, I was talking to uh, Trail, Fat Trail, and he was saying, you know, like, after getting locked up so many times, he had to learn that, like, yo, taking care of my family, that's gangster. Yeah. Your family needs yeah, you to be there. Bro. Yeah. You Your me? family hurt the fuck out you, too. Mm. I learned that when getting money, that when you don't have money, you value your emotions and your loyalty and respect way more than you value money. But then when you get money, right, it's like, prime example, like, let's say you got all the money and I don't, but we came from the bottom together. All I still got to offer is the same shit that I've always had and loved and valued, my loyalty. When you got money... Slick, you give me loyalty and your money, but the person without the money don't realize that. They don't realize that you giving two pieces of valuable, vulnerable things. Because this shit can change your life, one, and you affecting my heart because you treat me different because now I got this money. Mm. So at the end of the day, it's like, I talk to my mans all the time. I'm like, bro, and they be like, man, that's why the block be banning niggas from hoods. That's why niggas be back doing niggas or slamming them out or niggas running off with 30, 40 thousand because niggas be like, <laughs> they don't get it, bro. These niggas don't get it. They, and, they, and guess what? They never will. They ain't going to get it. I was going to say they ain't going to get it. You know what? I had a strong, I had a strong time with learning that because I'm such an engineer at heart and mind that I always feel like it. it's a solution to something. Yeah, you think you can fix yeah, it. I think, but guess what? You start to learn as you get older and you constantly get burned, your hands get hot, and niggas do stupid shit. You got to be like, nah, hell yeah, nah. That's that, that's, you got to start paying attention to the characteristics now. Like, oh, you fit in this category. Yeah, they talk about that in a way, um, this way of a superior man. Talking about like, that's just a man thing. Yeah. Like, we, 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 we prone to like seeing problems and wanting to fix those problems. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man, I, I yeah, rock yeah. with it, man. I, um, this is great. This is way better than I, I didn't even. I didn't had no expectations. This is great. This yeah, is fire, bro. For sure. It's funny, bro. I, I've been seeing you on Instagram, like with your shit, and it was funny because again, me and Buka got a song, right? Mm -hmm. And when he came up here, right? It's crazy. I swear to God, how God work again. Manifestation with the tongue. Tongue is the most powerful muscle in your body, in a sense, right? He did the interview with you, and we had just finished up our song. So again, I'm interacting with Booker Page. Gang, you hard, da 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 You know how we do it, yeah. the bro shit. And then he posted that, and I went to your page. And I seen, I'm like, oh, who is this dude? I looked at it, I'm like, okay, cool. Podcast guy, da 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 I'm looking, looking, looking. I'm like, oh, he got a bunch of solid, decent motherfuckers on his shit. I guess his shit growing. Literally, this was like a month or two ago. Swear to God. YC hit me. We working on some shit. You know, he a young, rich nigga for sure, too. Like, so when I dog, you know what I'm saying? Me and him had a roller coaster relationship, but it's been great. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, he tell me about your shit again. I'm like, who? He like, man. Hey, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, send me your shit. Send it to me. Look at your page. Shit doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, damn, I seen this guy before. So I immediately like, and I seen bro on there. And I seen this, and I actually watched the interview that you and folks did. So I'm like, for sure, for sure. But again, like, right now where I'm at in life, I'm I'm all about like, okay, I'm at a point, I don't care. It's time to just drop the content. So now when I do come back up to these platforms and these stages of growing people like you and other podcast uh, teams and shit, they got a little more to know, and now they can really pop their shit with me. Like, oh, no, I seen you doing this. Mm -hmm. Seen you doing that. Because... For a nigga to like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I I'm glad before the you know we went and how we did, I'm glad you um you taught me something in mm -hmm. a sense, right? 
You spoke about shit from five years ago, four years ago. That let me know that I'm not really dropping enough. Mm. That shit's supposed to be lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of it, but it's like, if you got to look it up and then you supposed to, when you put my name in this Google search engine, whatever, Instagram. Google, I wear it, I guess. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I got to <laughs> work a little more harder. Don't let that stress you out too much because some people just good at what they do, though. Like, it ain't. It's I, 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 I um, pride myself in like, you know, I try to work hard. To, I take this serious. A lot of people don't do But that's research. why you're growing. I do research. But so. that's why you're growing. Yeah, that's so why I don't, don't take that person. Like, I really just... No, nah, no. Nah, listen, when I tell you I'm not... I'm t- when I say it's actually a good thing that you said it because mm. it lets me know, okay, you got to start dropping more content. You got to mm. start You gotta start pushing more narratives, dropping more inf- information. Controlling your own Get, story. Controlling your story, getting your PR. Remember when I said that? I said, yo, my PR, my pub, my public... Like, I really need to... Lock in with them and, okay, this is what I'm doing now. Mm. Let's drown their ass with what I'm really on. Mm. But again, like, I feel like I've always been overlooked in that matter. Like, and I, and I'll be honest with you, I, it's big ass artists in the world that come to me and know what I'm doing in the real world and be like, gang, you, but they are, you know how this shit go. They, gang, you are, you would, and then they'll do it. And I'll be like, hold on, what the fuck just happened? A nigga just got close to me, act like he was finna do something with me, do woo woo, and then go run my play and get all the credit. And then that's like I came under him the whole time. Like, I thought this, so you gotta really watch who you bring around. That energy gotta be right. Every every good feature, every good contract, every good cosign ain't the best. Not, bro. You it's gotta really say, like, shit. yeah, bro, this industry shit, though. Some bullshit. You gotta just hang with core people, like, and that's what matters, bro. That's what matters. Your happiness and your peace is everything at this point. Like, don't let a motherfucker take you out your out your element. Like, don't let a nigga trick you off your spot. Yo, this man, these conversations, bro, it's so refreshing because like, it's so many other conversations that's not like this. Like, it's so many, and that's what I'm scared of. Like, cause I really don't care for the industry for real. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Like, I, I live, and it's like I want to have a successful podcast for sure. I would be lying. I pray for it every day. But it's like some people like you can't have a conversation with everybody, like cause everybody yeah, other niggas get they niggas be slow gang. They lack information. Yeah. Like don't get me wrong, I'm I'm a live wire. Like I don't fuck around, but mm. I feel like the most creative people in the world be live wires. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah, a lot of people just lack information. They really be slow. Like they really don't know. Like, and you have to stop acting like bro, yo ass slow. Like no, nah, nigga, you really slow. Like you really don't have it all. And we we glorifying. The dummies, not saying it like that. No, but like, I'm gonna say it like that. Gang, <laughs> like for sure. No, for real. We really glorify, <laughs> but you know why? You know why? Cause we lack it, so we understand it. Mm. I don't understand it. Uh, you not? You not <laughs> listen. You never gonna understand it. But watch this. I learned this in the world of humanity. A lot of, um, what's it called? Nursery rhyme songs, blow. Yeah. Right. We know that. Mm-hmm. Only because what? More people can understand. understand. It, yep. Watch this. Same aspect. There's more broke people than rich people. Mm. So they feel you more when you on the flow. Because they on the flow. Mm. A lot, 80% of the world is really on the flow. That's true. Pandemic over. Give your... F- this the camera? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pandemic is over. It's over. Your money is done. Like, the real world, the real recession, the real shit is finna fucking happen. Like... You know what I'm saying? It's more people on the flow right now, even including people who had money. Mm-hmm. That shit was a trick for a reason. And guess what's what we so fire about this shit? We gonna go down in history. Ain't that mm-hmm. funny? Mm-hmm. That the pandemic gonna be in the history books when we long gone? Like how Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and all that shit was in our history books? That the pandemic, the virus and all that shit gonna be in our history books? That shit kind of fire. But guarantee, guess what? We in a recession right now. Save your fucking bread. It's hard, bro. Tell people how to follow you, bro. This is hard. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Ferrari True with the number three, cause they hacked my old page. But we up, we lit. One Nation Music Group. Follow me on Twitter at Ferrari True. Follow me on YouTube at Ferrari True. New music on the way. Time to talk. Time to talk to on the way right after. And I don't even want to talk to you niggas right after. It's hard, right man. Yo, it's hard, man. I can't even. That's it. Ferrari True, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out. Appreciate it, Let's dog. Let's get it.